I believe the future in America is going to be built on welding, you know? Yes. It already is. So this is more geared towards structural welding and pipe welding. And that industrial, industry, stuff, industrial getting nice. stuff. Nice. See, so. they're welding together. What? What is that? One inch plate? Yes, that is. That's one inch plate. So we're working on our wire feed process right now, gas metal arc welding, and doing a vertical up and overhead. So nice. Working man. on testing on those right now. So with and this course, you could leave here, and I mean, you could fill the bill on a lot of industrial welding jobs in the industry right now, right out of here. Couldn't you? Correct. Yes, absolutely. I like all the trades. Uh, they're Industry's hurting for yeah. more welders, skilled welders. We're geared up to, to get them out and into that industry. So anything from shipbuilding, pipe welding, uh, especially when the oil and gas industry is booming. Is this something that you need a start in the welding industry at all before you come here? Or do you get completely green people come in here and want to make a future for themselves? Yeah, completely green. You could have a little bit of knowledge and we're advance you on to more increased skill sets in that industry, or you can come in completely green. I watch all these guys that set and watch welders make all this money and complain about it. Take take six months off and go take the course. You can start living that life too here with this yes. course. Yes, you don't absolutely. have to be right out of high school to do this. You can change your life anytime you want. Yeah, absolutely. Let's check out some equipment. You want to? Yeah, for Let's sure. Let's check it out. So here's our welding booth. Each student will get a welding booth. And so here they're a, a six foot wide by eight foot long. So they're a fairly large booth compared to most welding schools. Here we have each student gets a grinder. We also have some nice snap-on lights for them. Um, all of our tools are all snap-on. Uh, so we get the best in the industry. Um, we, have, we have our pretty nice uh, Nennerman uh, smoke eaters. So these students aren't gonna be breathing that smoke and they can get used to that for industry. Um, they have uh, everything to clean this booth. We, we take pride in cleaning here. So they have uh, brushes and brooms and everything to clean here. But we also have these built. These are all our stands. So each student will get a table and they also have clamps on here so they can move this kind of wherever they want in any, any position for whatever type of welding they're doing. So that's kind of nice. Also another one up here, it'll do the same thing. So these are, uh, like I said earlier, these are our Lincoln machines. These are all brand new machines. They're multi-process. They will do all processes, TIG, MIG, flux core, and stick. And there's a ton of settings in here you can change. You can weld DC stick, you can weld 6010. You can also arc gouge, and you can do AC. There's many options. You can weld stainless with this. This will do just about everything. This machine will do, do every process that they will see in industry. And uh, we are teaching them every process to prepare them for that. Now yeah. on your laser tables and everything, like on these cutting tables, do you guys get into any of the software training on it as well? Like setting it up and you know, cutting the squares and all that. Is yes, that part yeah. of the so we'll, training we'll, team? We'll give them some introduction to that so they get a little bit of, get of knowledge in that area. And, and so get, it's not like you have to have CAD training or anything right. to come. I mean, because yep. I would think so. You know, yeah. I would think I need a background in CAD before I learn how to cut, you know, on a piece of machinery. Right. No, and we get them into the basics of it. And yeah. so they get an idea on how, to, how those pieces of equipment function. And so, yep, that's all incorporated into our curriculum. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, so we got a piranha plasma table, the 510C or C510. Uh, know, this is a Buggo, this a Buggo is. MM1. So it's got the capability of um, cutting out pieces like this. So when we get into our pipe welding process, you can cut saddles, we can cut different shapes. Uh, one of the big things is it's not on this piece, but we can bevel a piece of pipe. So. You can, can even hook a Sharpie up to this thing and make your lines and stuff too on tube. Yeah. You make roll bars and bins and everything. I use one of these back home. Buddy of oh, mine's awesome. got one in his shed. Very Pretty cool. cool. Now is this a tester? Yes, yep. A so weld so tester will, is what this a, is? Yep, a bend tester. So if, uh, come on buddy. Come on brother. 
Look at that. You might have made a welder there, brother. Nice. So because we're welding on one inch plate, or our students are, this is a side bend. So uh, they, they bend, they cut, cut the coupon out, bend it from the side. If it's on three eighths plate, they take and do a face and a root bend. Uh, and this one they'll do a, a side bend uh, both directions. This is really a... cool once, once you pull it out of the test. And of course, I don't know if we can touch it depending on how warm it is. It should be pretty cooled off. Yeah, so that's one of the things with the welding industry is it doesn't matter what certifications you leave with from school. It might get you on the uh, foot in the door to where you're going to work. But because it's so hands-on and skill-based, it's got to be quality yeah. that when you go to, to get that job in the welding industry, they they test you on the process that you're going to be doing or multiple processes. There ain't no faking yourself so, in nope, welding. Nope. One of the exciting things, one that's different about this program is our last phase. Uh, we're, we're call, calling this a project-based learning. We're also not just welding on uh, pipe or plate all day long. We're getting students some blueprints and they're building some projects. And we're just incorporating little bits of that as we go along through our first couple phases. But our last phase in this is is uh, our So they're understanding drafts and stuff when they yes. leave too. Yeah, reading the blueprint, the weld procedures. Uh, we're like gonna, what, like car trailers and stuff? Is that what you're thinking? Like potentially, stuff like yeah, that? barbecue smokers, really. All kinds you can build of, anything yeah. with welding. I just um, didn't know what you guys were going to fit in so, the class, you know? So, yeah, we've talked about flatbed trailers, smokers. Um, the sky's the limit if we can fit it in the shop. You say last phase, I keep thinking second phase. That's fourth yeah. phase in this class. Correct. So yep. on phase four, they're going to be getting into the meat and potatoes of everything. On the fabrication yeah. piece, yeah. Like yeah. from drafts to reality. Yep, correct. From people that came in here and didn't know how to weld. Some of them. <laughs> yeah. I like this, man. It's good. That's yeah, cool. I like the open floor plan too. You know, it opens up to where what project do you want to build in here? You could drag a skyscraper in here and build that yes. thing on the floor. Yeah. This is awesome. Yep, this space is close, to, I think 70, 75 feet wide and about 100 foot long. And then, gosh, I don't know what it is in here between the booths, but it's a good area to have a couple of good sized projects. The placement, like, that you get paid, paid placement for welders is so much higher than the rest of the industry. It really seems like it. I mean, welders seem to get placed in good positions to where they do get benefits packages and they get, they want to keep welders. You yeah, know, when a, a welder gets a good job, the company wants to keep them. Yes, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities out there for them. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for coming yeah, us around. Awesome. I absolutely love this. Dude.